30 days of no interviews, Kamala Harris and her vice presidential pick, Tim Walz, will finally sit down in front of a camera tomorrow. But is this some of what we can expect from the, pres from the vice president? This whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. What else are you going to do to fix this problem with inflation? All right, thank you. Well, let's start with this. Uh, prices have gone up. So joining us now is Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Good morning to you, Governor. Good morning. Good thanks morning. for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. Why do you think they have to do this together? I mean, I understand it's vice president. She's running for president with Tim Walz. But do you think there is a motivation? Why would they put them together for this first interview? Of course there's motivation. They know that Kamala Harris can't get through an interview all by herself. There is not a lot of confidence in somebody to become the leader of the free world and ask people to make her president of the United States when she can't even sit down with an interview. And this isn't even a tough interview. This is on CNN. This is one of their media allies. She should take this opportunity to show the American people that she can handle hard questions. It's clear that her own team and her own party think she needs a babysitter. Her, and that's why they're putting her vice presidential nominee on the stage with her so that he can step in and answer questions if things go like the clips we just saw, like she has done in previous interviews. Some former Democrats are teaming up with Donald Trump. You had Tulsi Gabbard just yesterday or the day before, I think, and then RFK Jr. over the weekend. They're joining his transition team. So why do you think the GOP is appealing to independent voters and to some Democrats? Well, I think there's a lot of reasons. I think one, it's because this matchup could not be more stark between the two candidates. Donald Trump has a record of success of leading on things like building a strong American economy, securing our border, helping us have a strong presence on the world stage, while on the other hand, Kamala Harris has been part of an administration of total failure. Look at everything that happens, has happened in the last four years. She has to own that. She cannot run away from it. And even prominent Democrats don't have confidence in her ability to lead this country. She was the laughing stock of the Biden administration just a few months ago, and now the hypocrisy is so unbelievable. They want us to believe that they truly think that she can take this job on. I think that the fact that they're not letting her do an interview by herself tells us everything that we need to know. She is not prepared to lead the country. Donald Trump is because he's shown he can do it. Even prominent voices in the Democrat Party see that and they're joining the ticket and starting to campaign for him around mm -hmm. the country. And I think it's a great thing that he's building this huge coalition that will help push him over the top in November. You know, Governor, you have implemented something in your great state of Arkansas. The school year's kicking off, so you're offering these statewide grants to keep kids off of their phones when they're in school. It includes no smartphones before high school, uh, phone-free schools, no social media before age 16, and more outdoor play. And you're, you're doing this because, according to Gallup, the kids are spending almost five hours, a teenager, on social media per day. So this is incredible. I know you're getting support from Democrats and Republicans. Uh, why did you do this, and what is the response from parents? You know, this is something that I, I think we have to take a much stronger look at. We are watching uh, a true mental health crisis take place, not just in our country, but around the world among young people. We're seeing anxiety, suicide, depression rates skyrocket. And one of the biggest factors contributing to that is the use of smartphones and social media. Uh, Jonathan Haidt write a, wrote a book called The Anxious Generation. I sent that to every single governor across the country and every member of our legislature because this is an issue that we really can come together and do something about. We started a program within the first couple of months, 75% of school districts in our state voluntarily opted in to go phone free Why and participate in this grant program. Well, we're, we're hopeful that more and more will continue to do that, but this is just in the first uh, about two months of the program okay. being available, uh -huh. and we hope to get to 100%, but that is without uh, forcing or okay. uh, making them make take this step, but voluntarily 75% awesome. of school districts are, are opting in. Parents, teachers, administrators, they're hungry for some type yeah. of leadership on this, and we're glad that we're making a difference for have, our students because it, it, it is becoming a true problem. Governor, it's awesome. If you talk to Donald Trump about this, I think this is something that would get a lot of support. 
I, I certainly think this would be a great issue for him to lead on. We're seeing other countries take this step, and I think this is the, something that the United States really needs uh, to take a more aggressive approach, work with our parents, work with our schools, uh, because we've seen the negative effects. We're not saying that there aren't some useful tools that can be found in smartphones and social media, but our kids are simply not prepared to take that on, and we can do a much better job, not just as a governor, but as a mom. This is something mm -hmm. I want to see us lead on. Governor, thank you so much for coming on with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.